thanks so much for stopping by. I am doing a tutorial video in response to a subscriber that just watched an old video of mine um, how to write on a card using Cricut Design Space. Um, I can link that video for you in the description box. She needs to write a paragraph on her cards and I, I didn't do that. I only did the single line so this video is going to show you how to do that. All right, let's go ahead and take the steps. We're going to create our shape, which is the base of our card. Now this is a portrait style card, assuming that you're putting either, you know, a 12 by 12 or eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock um, on there. This is not a pre-cut, pre-made card. Uh, the second thing that I do is I change the color because I'm gonna be writing on it. So let's make this yellow. And then we wanna size it. So go over and unlock that little lock there by clicking on it and make it 8.5 by 5.5. Great. Now we need to create a score line. So go back to your shapes, click on score line, go up to the size and make it 5.5. Now if you notice, I am on the grid line where it has an inch from the top and an inch from the side. This is what's helpful for me as far as putting my um, score line in and then being able to highlight the whole thing and attach it. If I have it jammed up in the left corner here, I am not able to do that. All right, so let's leave it like this. We're going to go into our text. And I've chosen the Alexis Maddox Emma Rose writing font. So let's just click on that. Now what I did is I went into my filter, which is at the top right, and I clicked on writing. So the Cricut Design Space is only going to give me those that write. Some of them do cut as well, but you want to pay attention to that. You want to make sure that it is just the writing font. All right, so let's go ahead and add our text. Laura. Um, I'm going to go down one more and sparse by space bar over three. Thank you for attending the fundraiser and for your generous donation. We hope that you will be back next year. Um, I didn't write a lot, but it's enough. It's a paragraph, right? So I'm going to enter twice. I'm going to shift over and say truly Carol oops comma like okay enter C-A-R-O-L okay we're done go ahead and click on your your text your message and you see that it's way too big so go up to the size now what works for me is to go ahead and change the width to 3.5 very good. All right, so let's bring this down. I'm going to click on all those words there. For some reason, it's either my internet or Cricut Design Space is kind of lagging. Um, I've turned my internet off and on, so hopefully we'll figure this out. So there might be a few glitches in this video. All right, so at this point, you are not able to align it because if you try to align it, vertically or in the center or whatever, it's going to think it needs to align with the entire size of the card. So it ends up over here in the middle somewhere. You just kind of have to eyeball it. Um, I actually like where I put it, so I'm going to leave that there. Let's go ahead and highlight the whole thing. Go down to your bottom right margin and click Attach. Alright, let's just click on Make It and show you what it looks like. You've got your card base, so it's going to score it. So it's going to make your score line first. Make sure you have your score blade or your score pen in your machine. Then it's going to draw the writing, so have your pen ready. And then it's going to cut the card. Now, this is helpful for this, this system or this, these steps are helpful for if you have a card base that's already cut and scored. I know you can buy these in the stores that come with the envelopes. So I'm going to go back to the virtual mat and show you how to trick the system into doing that. 
And I wanted to include that because a lot of people do buy those card bases and they want to, you know, send a professional looking card on the inside and it's kind of hard to do when you already have a pre-cut card. But it's okay. We're going to we're, we're going to figure this out. So let's go back. Same steps. You're going to create the shape. I'm going to change the color. Let's make this one blue this time. You're going to go up to the size, unclick it, I mean unlock it, and again portrait size is eight and a half by five and a half. Now I'm not going to create a score line for this one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create the text and say, um, Dear Carol, it was my pleasure to be able to help with this fundraiser for the Children's Society. I'm totally making this up. I will see you next year. Okay, I'm going to enter twice. I'm going to use my shift bar again and say truly Laura. All right, let's go back to the same step. We're going to click on the, the text or the message. Bring it on over here. We're going to size it, so leave it locked. 3.5. And we're going to bring it down here on the cart. Now, I didn't create my score line. You can if you want to use that as sort of a measure for where you want to put your, your words. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach this. Go down to the bottom right. And we're going to say make it. All right, let's go to that blue card that we just created. And here's how you're going to trick it. It's going to draw it first. So here's what you need to do. You need to take that pre-cut, pre-scored card and stick it all the way up in the left corner of your Cricut mat, except leaving that one space. You'll see on your mat there's a guide. You need to have that one space still available. All right, and if your mat isn't very sticky, you know, tape the darn thing down because it'll move around if, if you don't. Um, so, as I said, it's going to, to write it first, and then you're going to stop the machine and unload it so that it's not going to want to to cut it because you've already got your pre-cut card. It's a trick. Um, I don't know if there's another way of doing this. I mean, I guess you could try just to put the actual words. Let's go back to the screen. Um, I, I don't feel comfortable doing this, but I'm just going to show you another method. We're going to go down to the bottom and detach it. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete the base of the card and go to make it. So if you're comfortable with moving this in where you think it would be on your, you know, your pre-cut card, you know, you can just put it there and your machine will just go right to that area and just start printing out on the card base that you already have on there. I hope this makes sense or didn't confuse anybody. And I hope this answers um, the subscriber's question as well. But in the meantime, if you have any questions or you have any um, helpful hints on how to do this, um, please leave a message and please leave a message, leave a comment, and um, you know we'll all try and figure this out together. All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by and have a great day.